welcome to Deep Crawl Tutorials. Today I'm going to talk you through how to accurately set the size and the depth of a crawl. One of the only things you'll have to decide for every crawl that you run is the size and the depth, so this is really important. It not only dictates how much information you're going to get from the crawl report, but also things like how long the crawl report might take, and obviously how many credits it's going to use up. Once you've selected the type of crawl and entered the rest of the project settings, you'll be taken to this screen. Around halfway down on the left, you'll see a box called Crawl Limits. The drop-down box will be set to the default, automatic setting showing up to 100,000 URLs. If you click on this, you'll see that it drops down to give a number of automatic options, from 1,000 right up to a million URLs. These settings are fantastic if you're setting up a crawl quickly and know that you'll be able to crawl everything you want, but please be aware that the automatic settings will only crawl by complete level. As an example of this, let's say that you choose to use the automatic settings to crawl up to 50,000 URLs. DeepCrawl might complete a level having crawled 4,000 URLs, but it might then potentially see that the next level, or in other words, the next click away from the start URL, is going to take the crawl over that 50,000 URL limit that you've set. If this is the case, rather than start a level which DeepCrawl knows it cannot finish within the limit, DeepCrawl will simply finalise and generate the report for the last completed level, in this instance, just 4,000 URLs. So, whilst the automatic settings are very useful, please do be aware that they are best if you already know how many URLs you're asking DeepCrawl to crawl. This can help avoid gener generating incomplete reports, which you might then need to rerun at the expense of extra credits. Another option, which gives more control and versatility, is to choose the bottom option from that drop-down list, which is custom. The first advantage of custom settings is that it will allow you to choose a specific number of levels, all clicks from the home page, or a specific number of URLs. If you choose a crawl depth limit, otherwise known as level, then you can choose to leave the number of URLs blank, and vice versa. If you choose to fill in both boxes, then DeepCrawl will stop at whichever limit it reaches first. The second benefit of choosing custom is that you have the choice to pause rather than directly finalise a crawl when the limit is reached. This is great if you have not crawled this domain before and you do not know exactly what to expect. You can choose to set a limit based on your best guess for what the right number might be to get all the information that you want, and DeepCrawl will pause when that limit is reached. At this stage, DeepCrawl will pause for a maximum of 24 hours, during which time you can examine the URLs already crawled, and you can see the next level of the site. This allows you to then make an informed decision as to whether you want to increase the URL limit and start again, or whether you want to finalise the crawl based on the URLs that you've already crawled. When I'm happy that the crawl report is going to give me everything that I need, I simply make sure that the right box is ticked so the crawl will finalise at the limit rather than pause, and when the crawl is complete, I will receive an email telling me that my report is ready to view. I hope this has been helpful, thanks for listening and for further information please contact your account manager.